We got some things to talk about this week, baby. What's good, gang? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we got a different setup going on today. It is a beautiful Friday, depending on when you're watching this video. So I figured I'd bring you guys outside. But in today's video, I'm gonna be switching it up a little bit as far as the sneaker culture. I'll be giving you guys two reasons why I feel like the sneaker culture has changed for the good, and one reason why I feel like the sneaker culture has changed for the worst. And as always, if you're just stopping by, if this is your first time, make sure you stick around and join the gang by smashing that subscribe button, get this video a like, and a comment if you would like. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's discussion, baby. I figured I started off with the two reasons why it has changed for the good and saved the bad for last. The first reason I think the sneaker culture has gotten better is because of diversity. Sneaker companies are now creating sneakers that cater to a wider range of people. This includes sneakers for women, sneakers for people in different races, and also sneakers for people with different interests and different hobbies. This has created a culture where others are more accepting of people and their sneaker choices. The second reason why I think the sneaker culture has gotten better is innovation. Sneaker companies are now pushing the boundaries of design and technology to create sneakers that are not only stylish but also functional. This has created a culture where people are more interested in the design and craftsmanship more than just the hype of that actual sneaker. With that being said, nowadays we are getting, you know, a lot of type of different sneakers. I feel like these sneaker companies are paying more attention to, you know, how soft the shoe is. Is it a good running shoe? Is it comfortable? Can you walk in it for a while? Other than just saying, here, bang, heck go a Jordan 1 Chicago. We know y'all like this colorway. We know it's going to sell out. We just know. I feel like they putting more effort into, you know, different people and how other people view shoes and not just about style, more about if the shoe is comfortable, can it function, can you wear it for a while, will it age well? So that right there has changed the sneaker culture itself. For the bad news, this is my one reason why I feel like the sneaker culture has changed for the worse, and that reason is toxicity. With the rise of social media, people are now connected more than ever before. While this can be a good thing, it has also created a culture where people are able to judge and criticize other people on their sneaker choices. That itself has created a toxic environment where people are afraid to express their opinions and personal preferences. To dive deeper into what was just said, nowadays, we just, I, want, I, I don't wanna say we because I'm different, but nowadays, the world that we live in, they tend to just follow the hype. If the shoe not hype, they don't want it. Or even if they tend to like a shoe that's not hype, they don't express their opinion, their real opinion, or how they actually feel about the shoe because they're afraid of how someone else is going to feel about their opinion or what this person might say about them buying this specific shoe. So nowadays, social media has created a platform where we can judge other people and criticize other people for their likes and their opinions, which is making the sneaker culture different. It's making the sneaker culture go down in my opinion because if a person happens to like for instance this shoe right here the romero zoom fives this is a very very nice shoe in my opinion but you might got somebody else that likes this shoe also but they will be afraid to express their like on this shoe because it doesn't have any hype or they might be afraid that hey the next person who is quote unquote somebody might say oh he's rocking them Vomero zoom fives what the heck are those or you might catch somebody trying to record a person's shoe and say what are those and you know what i'm saying so it has created a platform where you know you can easily judge somebody and criticize somebody behind you know what i'm saying basically behind a mirror where a person can't see you and can't judge you for judging them because they don't know who you are so social media and toxicity has definitely change the sneaker culture for the worst hopefully it does get better but we got to expect the worst man expect the unexpected i'm always going to be me i'm gonna rock what i like and i feel like y'all should rock what y'all like too don't care what other people say be yourself buy what you like wear what you like rock what you like wear how you want to wear change the laces you can paint your shoe you can do whatever you want to do be yourself 
Don't let social media judge who you are. With all that being said, y'all let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about today's conversation. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? I just want to know y'all thoughts so I can keep these type of videos coming. This is episode three. If you missed two and one, you want to make sure you go back and check those videos out. As always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking your boy out, checking out episode three of why the sneaker culture has changed for the good or for the bad. It don't matter. Today was a great discussion. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Hug your loved ones. Let them know you love them. You lose the people every day, you guys. You never know when it's going to be that last hug. So make sure, make sure, make sure you hug your loved ones. And always, always, always remain humble, man. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, baby. We out. We out. We out.